Hi guys, so I've decided to do a book review as well as an unboxing. So I'm going to unbox this book and review this book in this video. So that's why the start of it is a little bit different. It's because I didn't know I was going to do a review on it. But now I am, so let's get on. Welcome to Bookaholic 15. Today's video is going to be... I don't know what it's going to be really yet because I've just got a box I'm going to unbox right now. But I know it will be a really short video, so I might even add other clips and things to this video depending on what I come up with but for now I'm just going to open this box and I so I don't know which one it is I've ordered two books so I don't know which book it is but I have a kind of inkling which one it will be because I just do um and I'm going to open it this way because I don't want you guys to see my address um I think I'm open it this way I never know with these sorts of boxes this one has a pull tab thing on it Oh, I just hit myself in the face again. I'm really hopeless today. I've got, I know which one it is. And it's in pretty good condition. It is The Edge of Never by J.A. Redmersky. Redmersky? I absolutely adore this book. It's so pretty. And it's the best selling self published ebook. Love that, that it was a self published ebook and has got so big that it's become its own book. I'm so happy for the author. Um, let's see when it was published. This is 2013, um, but 2014 I think it was originally published. 2013 it was published into a book and it's just so beautiful. I'm so happy with it and I'm so excited. So this is like a contemporary romance with like an edge. Uh -huh, I get that pun. So yeah, I'm very excited to read this. Part uh, two, the review. Um, I wanted to do this review now so the light isn't as good because it is later but I wanted to do it while it was fresh in my mind because this book was just so good. Also I haven't really done any reviews before proper book reviews on my channel because I find that I never do them um, early enough because I always end up waiting too long and I forget main points I want to bring up. Um, but I also have other plans because I you know it hasn't been sent yet but I do have an author that's hopefully going to be sending me a or, um, two ebooks to review so I will do a review on this channel of them and also I have got a blog now which I'm going to be trying to do reviews on I have got one review on that at the moment so I will well I've left the link on my uh, main channel screen but I'll leave a link in the description to my blog as well so you guys can go check that out um, and I might do a written review of this one um, but I don't know yet because I feel like I might just do a talking review on this one because um, I've got the others to plan for. So anyway, I'm gonna stop yabbering on and I'm gonna get on with this review. So obviously I'm gonna be reviewing this book, The Edge of Never by J.A. Redmesca. Reme I'm gonna Red Redmesca. I'm so sorry if I mispronounced the author's name. First of all, let me just say how beautiful this book is. I absolutely adore the cover. I think it's really, really pretty. It also says best-selling self-published ebook over to 2,500,000 2, sold. Wow, well done. Like, that was amazing. So I love that it was self-published and people have just got behind this book and I absolutely love that. So of course I want to just kind of talk about what it looks like at first. I found this book so beautiful because you have this cool almost like black and white um, picture on the front and then it's yellow. It contradicts itself. It makes it look like, is it gonna be a sad story? And then you see all this yellow, you're like, is it happy? And I will say that it is a mix of both. And I really, really enjoyed it and I really loved it. And I will read the blurb to you so you guys can kind of understand what I went in knowing. It says, the New York Times bestseller, 20-year-old Cameron, I think that's how you say her name, it's spelt C-A-M-R-Y-N, has already know, has always known that she wants a life less ordinary. But when a tragedy strikes, she boards the next bus leaving town, destination unknown. On a journey of self-discovery, she meets another lost soul, Andrew Parrish, who harbors his own dark secrets. And I must say, the dark secrets aren't just all let out, and they aren't all obvious. As you go through, you learn. And I feel like this book was so good with its character development. The characters you see at the start are not the characters you see at the end. And overall, I will give this book a 5 out of 5 stars, because I just loved it so much. So now I'm going to kind of talk about the characters and all that. And I have that written down, so excuse me if I keep looking down so the main characters are Cameron and um Andrew and it does 
swap points of view but not in the way like chapters it has parts so it'll be like five chapters from Cameron five chapters from Andrew near the end Andrew doesn't have as many ch like parts um but I love the way it was written because you do get the points of view but it's not in the bad way where it's like oh no I wanted to find out what was going to happen because it is just carrying on the story just seeing what they're thinking about because they are pretty much together 20 Four, seven in throughout the book so it's not like you find out it's kind of like you gradually learn more about each character and also they almost learn together so those are the two main characters and I really love the main characters Cameron at the start you kind of I don't know she was a bit okay decent you kind of didn't know if you're going to connect with her but I thought as we went through we learned more about her she like kind of let her walls down a bit so you could learn more about her and I really really liked her as a character then we have Nat and Damon. Well, Nat is Natalie, I call them that. Natalie and Damon. Natalie is Cameron's best friend and they've known each other for ages. And Damon is also a friend of Cameron, but is Natalie's boyfriend. And at the start, there's this whole trouble with the whole relationship thing. And I found, I loved that the friendship, how the friendship worked because it felt very real. Um, and it felt like it wasn't like sugar coated. It was really, really decent. I really liked it. And I loved the way it went. Um, and Damon, I liked that the way they did it because you didn't expect that to happen at the start of the book. It was kind of like, wow, that just jumped right in there. Also, we meet Blake near the start and we also see Blake near the end. Um, so I really, I liked his character. We didn't really know much about him, but it starts off pretty good. Blake's a nice guy. We also then have um, Asha and... Ma Marna? Marna? Marna is um, Andrew's mother and Asha is his younger brother. I really liked how we got to learn about the characters and how we saw them in different places and them connected and I really liked that and I found his mum really sweet, really nice and I loved that. Then we also have, and then we have Cole who is um, Cameron's older brother who we never personally meet but we hear about a lot and I feel like it's really good because we kind of learn gradually about the whole situation which is really really interesting so that's all about the characters um I don't want to spoil too much there is just minor spoilers in this but I love the way it built itself up we go on this long journey and I'm gonna kind of give a few minor spoilers that aren't really um major spoilers just kind of giving you a bit more of an idea about it um, it is obviously a journey and it starts off as a long bus journey and turns into a whole kind of road trip thing. It's super, super interesting and I absolutely adored this book. It has so many twists and turns. I found myself at the edge of my seat. Also, I found myself enjoying it, laughing and really like investing in these characters. And I liked how realistic these characters were. I liked how they, I liked how this couple was as well because they aren't like the couples that are like, they tell each other how they're feeling like they don't just like bottle it in for like chapters and chapters you kind of hear about how they feel and then a few pages later it kind of is opened out and it's in the air and like everyone knows about it which I really loved because things were fixed quicker because they weren't stupid and like oh I've got to like you know I felt that they were sensible and they weren't an irritating couple and I really really loved that that so um I know it's not a long review and I will be doing longer reviews when I get books in to review but this one I didn't plan on reviewing in any single way but I wanted to do kind of a, a mini review sort of thing I will tell people at the start of this video there are minor spoilers I feel like I might have had minor spoilers in there but nothing that was too major or spoilt the book um, but yeah, so this is just a short review, just one that I thought, you know what I'm going to do now. Um, so hopefully you liked it, but the reviews I will have coming up are actually going to be a lot longer, um, because I'll be taking notes and all that kind of stuff while reviewing them. So I hope you enjoy these videos. Thank you guys for watching. Um, please subscribe, like, comment. Bye!